Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you how you can do stop motion in VideoPad. Now VideoPad is a great video editing software, but it doesn't have a specific mode for doing stop motion. But with just a couple little tips and tricks, it is very easy to actually do stop motion in VideoPad. Now, I looked around on YouTube, and I noticed there really wasn't any tutorials on how to do this, so I figured today I would sit down and show you how it is done. Now, of course, the first thing you're going to need is uh, your sequence of pictures that you're going to be making the stop motion video out of. Uh, what I'm using um, at the beginning of this video, you see in my intro, and I'm actually using the pictures from that for what I made this intro out of and go through and show you how this is put together. Now, how you do your stop motion and get your take your pictures and that, that's all up to you. In this video, I'm just showing you how you put them together in VideoPad to make a stop motion video. All right, well, the first thing we're going to need to do once we get our pictures loaded in, you can see I have all mine over here, and I just got a real short sequence worth, is you need to go up to Tools, click on that, and go under Options, then go down here and click on Media. Now at default, right here, the still image duration, when you load a still image into your video pad on your timeline, it's going to normally be 3 seconds, 3.00. That doesn't work for stop motion. What you have to do is go in, I found um, I'm doing a uh, stop motion sequence using Scrabble letters, and I found a 0 0.15 works pretty good. You are going to have to play around with this a tiny bit. You might want to go um, 0 0.10 or 0 0.05 even, or maybe you only need to go, you know, 0.5. You're going to have to play around with that number a little. But to start with, 0.15, I would start right there because that is a good place. And then you can also... If it's fairly smooth, once you uh, render the video, you can go through the clip speed and you can change it a little, tweak it a little bit more there as well. But um, now, another thing is before you load all your clips in and get ready to make your video, go into Video Pad, go under here where I just showed you and change this to that 0.15 or whatever number you're going to want to use. Then you click OK, then close the application and restart it. Now, I already had it set in there and closed it and reset it to save some time because it won't automatically just switch to that value. You have to close it and restart it. Otherwise, it'll put uh, whatever your default was before. And we don't want three seconds per picture. All right, well, the next what we got to do is, of course, we're going to grab our pictures and we're going to place them on the sequence. And you can see right here, normally just one picture would have come out to the uh, the three second area so let's see this total duration is only four seconds so now let me go ahead and play it and show you what it looks like now that's pretty smooth I could have maybe be maybe did it 0.1 instead of 0.15 it might have smoothed it out a little more but um once I compile it, I can bring it back in to finish editing it. I can change the clip speed a little. Now, here's where we just got to stop for the moment. Once you get to this point where you get them all in there, because it's so many pictures, to go ahead and go through and try to do any other editing, you see right here, I've got like 50 pictures in there to bring this up to that amount of time. You just simply want to go ahead and export export this, um, convert it, compile it, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm just going to leave it untitled because this is just demonstration. I actually already went through to make my, my stop motion for my YouTube channel intro. All right, this is going to take a moment, so I'll just speed it up and I'll be right back. There we go, it has compiled it. 
So I can just click OK. I got to minimize this for a second, drag that over onto my other screen so I can get to it easily. And here we're going to just, I'm just going to go ahead and delete everything that's on there. Grab all the pictures in there, just delete them to get them out of the way. Then what you do is you bring back in the video you just made. And now you can go ahead and do what other effects that you wanted to do. Um, now I did mine, I did it uh, chroma key. Now I used a red background because I find that it works better with these scrabble blocks. You don't get that green halo around the blocks. It's easier to uh, do the, uh, the chroma key in GIMP. Uh, I'm not going to go into that. There's actually lots of videos on how to do the chroma key. And um, there's also other videos how to overlay it and do all that. I just wanted to show you how you could actually do the stop motion because I didn't really see any information here on YouTube on how to do it. And, well, guess what? Now there at least is one video on here on how to do stop motion in VideoPad. All right. Well, with that, I think we can go ahead and wrap this up. So uh, I would like to thank you for joining us here at the Z Hut today. Hope you found this information useful. You did. Please give me a thumbs up. And with that, I will say, remember, have fun filming.